hello everyone so in this video basically I want to show you how you can move fast in Linux terminal so a lot of people uh, ask me about uh, how to be productive in Linux and how we can navigate fast in Linux terminal so this video is all about that uh, so what I would recommend to you is uh, to first install the terminator which is your uh, Linux term replacement for Linux terminal so to do that there is a simple shortcut uh, you simply install it using apt so type sudo apt install terminator uh, now here I already have the terminator installed so it's just showing that everything is up to date uh, once you install this uh, you will have your terminator up and running uh, here uh, this interface which you are able to see this is my terminator and not a normal terminal now uh, why I'm recommending terminator is because I am used to it there are other um, options available uh, for this also like tmux okay uh, so the main benefit of using terminator is that it, it allows you to customize the keyboard shortcuts as per your need uh, the same you could do with uh, tmux also it is super convenient uh, it's up to you which uh, terminal you want to use uh, now the thing is in order to be fast uh, you need to use keyboard instead of mouse uh, okay and uh, basically terminator is a GUI application and it offers terminal multiplexing split screens uh, and the controls you would like in a different way okay so let's get started with the terminal then uh, so the first thing to do with the terminator is let's say you want to split your screens using the keyboard shortcut so for me I have keyboard shortcut set as control plus windows key or super key and then the arrow keys so as you see when I press control windows and right it will split my terminal horizontally so now I have two terminal panes uh, basically two panes in the terminal and uh, you can navigate between them easily this is super helpful right uh, similarly you can split the terminal vertically as well by pressing the down key um, and now you can see I have three terminal panes and you, here also you can split this single terminal pane into two like this okay now another thing is uh, you instead of clicking uh, between these panes via mouse you can navigate between them using a keyboard shortcut which is alt plus arrow key so as you can see I am uh, currently in my bottom right pane and if I press alt left I have switched to uh, the left pane right as you can see the focus has changed similarly I can move between all of them simply by pressing alt and my arrow keys this is super convenient to move between terminals awesome now another thing is okay let's say I have a command here and uh, you want to zoom in to that so for that there is control plus as you can see um, the font will be increased and if I press control minus the font will be decreased okay this is also useful if you want to uh, quickly increase or decrease your font size inside the terminal now as you guys have might already know that uh, you can use your normal terminal shortcuts like up and down arrow keys uh, to move between previously executed commands same thing you could do here as well so as you see I have executed this command which is uh, not a command just to show you and if I press up and down you can see I am able to move between different 
commands which i have executed previously this is also very helpful uh, uh, if you want to execute same command multiple times okay so for example i want to execute i am executing who am i okay now again uh, i want to execute the same command so instead of typing it all over again i can simply press up arrow and do enter and it will execute the same command for me okay another super useful feature is autocomplete feature so for example here okay i have this uh, so if i want to go to desktop what instead of typing the whole word out just i will type some few letters and press tab and it will auto complete it for me so as you saw it has auto filled similarly for pictures by pressing tab it has auto completed the command for me similarly uh, let's say we you don't know the whole command so just who and press tab two times and it will show you all the possibilities of the command uh, which starts from who right so this is again very useful okay uh, now another thing i want to show you in this terminator app is the preferences and the key bindings which i have so just by right clicking on the terminator uh, application uh, go to preferences and you will see here that you have this profiling section layouts which you can customize along with the key bindings here all the keyboard shortcuts are defined and you can customize them as per your needs so for me um, uh, which i use very frequently is this split horizontal and split vertical and i have set it to control super right and control super down you can modify it to whichever you want okay similarly for zoom in and zoom out you can see all the keyboard shortcuts defined by this terminator uh, uh, by default and if you want to modify any key binding you can do it from here all right then what i want to show you is that the uh, okay so another useful and very handy shortcut is control shift z what it will do basically is uh, it will scale your terminator pane into full screen so for example i am here in my terminator and if i press ctrl shift z you see it has been scaled to full screen and if i press ctrl shift z again it will scale out and revert back to its original state so this is again very helpful if you are executing long commands and if you want to uh, see what's going on in this particular pane instead of uh, viewing it from here you can scale it out and then scale it back okay let me switch to this pin now and another useful tip i want to sh tell you is that um, if you have a very very long command so for example this is a very very long command which i have misspelled okay so first thing i want you to learn is that uh, don't use the arrow keys to navigate between the line right like pressing the uh, left arrow key all the way back and pressing the right arrow key all the way back to navigate between the letters instead if you want to go at the beginning of this line simply press the home button on your keyboard it will take you all the way to the start of the line and if you press the end button it will take you at the end of the line similarly instead of pressing arrow key to move between words what you could do is you press control left arrow it will 
navigate you easily between different words so you don't have to press your arrow key for a long time right similarly for the right okay then another useful thing is let's say you have uh, misspelled something and you want the whole word to be removed so instead of pressing the backspace multiple times what you could do is press alt backspace and it will remove the whole word for you right then what else okay so another thing which i use more often is that um, let's say you want to remove this whole uh, line um, okay so what you could do press ctrl u and the whole line will be gone so you don't have to keep on pressing the backspace button in order to remove the whole line right now if i type it long comma now another thing i want to tell you is that this ctrl plus u remove or delete the part of the line from where your cursor is so if my cursor is here it and now if i press ctrl u it will remove the part of the sentence which is before my cursor right as you have just seen so again super handy okay okay so that's basically it for most of the shortcuts you can easily now you can easily move between different uh, panes you can split the screens using control windows down arrow up arrow right arrow whatever you have configured and uh, okay one more thing um, let's say you want to close this pane okay so there is a shortcut for that control shift w this will close the pane which you have opened okay so you don't have to maneuver between uh, mouse by pressing right leg and closing it from here this will take a lot of time so instead you could do all the thing from the keyboard and this will improve your efficiency and productivity right now uh, these are some of the basic things which I have uh, showed you in the terminal in order to uh, move faster another useful thing is control R what it does is basically it will open reverse search for you so whatever the commands you have executed previously it will search from them so I have executed clear so just by pressing CL it is showing me that okay in the past I have executed this clear command which is start from CL okay if i press apt it's showing me that okay i have executed this command in the past so this is also very handy if you want to see which command you have executed previously or how you have executed the command which you don't know the complete syntax but you know the initials of the command or just part of the command okay now in order to come out from this reverse search press ctrl c and you will be back okay so one bonus tip I want to give you here is that apart from these shortcut and tricks which I have mentioned there are a lot of other shortcuts which you can find easily uh, by searching the best shortcuts so let me try to show it to you um, let me open my web browser and if I search here best shortcuts you will see a lot of results but there is one particular result I want to show you which I guess is this one okay yes 
so uh, this git page you can use as a cheat sheet for your terminal where it has explained all the possible shortcuts which you can use uh, in your terminal to further improve your productivity so uh, what I have just explained you some of the commands you will find here more commands are here like control R I have just showed you to search backward okay then uh, yeah so similarly other shortcuts are there like to in order to run the previous command uh, just type uh, bang bang operator okay and it will execute it yeah and uh, there are other uh, references also like uh, here you will find so yeah just use it this would be pretty nice and easy to use and it will improve your productivity uh, in using the terminal a lot okay guys so that's it from my side uh, in this video and i hope you find it useful and interactive let me know your feedback also if you have uh, or if you know any other terminal shortcut or tricks do let us know in the comment section down below uh, and uh, yeah if you want more videos on linux terminal and otherwise also let me know uh, yeah so i guess i will see you in the next video soon thank you so much